Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for your glider supplies. In this video, I want to take a look at the Safety McCready and the Safety McCready offset options within the firmware for your LX family of computers. To access those options, we want to scroll across to the Setup page and then go into our Q&H and Reserve menu. In here we can see, and we've talked about this in a previous video, safety altitude. That's the altitude at which you will arrive above ground at your destination based on flying the McCready value you have set. What's fairly new is the safety McCready box. And in safety McCready, for example, if I increase this to a value of five, what we can see or what will happen is that for all my final glide calculations, it will give me the height required to fly home based on a five knot McCready setting. For the rest of the flight, during all the rest of my interthermal flying, my speed commands will be given to me based on the McCready setting that I've set in the regular mode for interthermal flying. So these two work completely independently. The safety McCready is used only for your final glide calculations. So if we take a look and we draw a graph here of our altitude versus our distance from home, and we could put terrain in if we want, and our home field is right here. Of course, the computer is going to take into account the terrain elevation. It knows the elevation of your finish point. It's going to add your safety altitude to that. So we're going to add our 1,000 feet. So really what the computer is aiming for is this point in the sky above your destination. And if we draw a couple lines, we can draw one out here and say that is McCready of zero. And then let's say for the day we've been flying at a McCready equal to three. So if I don't have safety McCready set, or if I have it set to zero, then the computer's just going to put me on this line. It's going to tell me in my last thermal, let's say I'm down here, it's going to tell me to climb up to this altitude and then fly home at a McCready 3 to arrive at 1,000 feet AGL. If there's a lot of sync, sometimes that can cause you to drop below glide, and then you have to stop and climb again. So what does the safety McCready do? Well, if I set safety McCready to five as I have set here, what that's going to do is it's going to tell me if this is the McCready five line, it's going to tell me that I have to climb all the way up to here before I leave on glide. But then I'm going to start my interthermal flying and my interthermal flying is now going to have me flying at the McCready 3 that I've set. So I'm actually going to follow this path. So we should see that the red line and the McCready 3 line are parallel. So by setting the safety McCready, what it does is it provides us this additional buffer so that we can take into account any sync that we might find as we are on our glide home. So the McCready the safety McCready, what it does is it causes us to fly at a steeper angle. So what we'll find is as we're on final glide, and we'll use a blue line for our actual, we'll start flying along at our McCready of five. And we'll realize I'm pretty high. So we started our glide at five, at, at a climb for five, but we're actually cruising at a McCready of three. So at some point we're going to find ourselves high. So we have a couple options we can increase our McCready value for our speed to fly, or we can just start flying faster. And ideally, what we want to do is we want to fly faster so we can follow a steeper path and arrive sooner with a safe altitude. So that's how we would use safety McCready. The other option in here, and it's not completely obvious that this option exists, when we're on this page, if we want to scroll through, can use this bottom knob to see what fields are active. So we can edit this thousand foot. If we go down again, now we can see we can actually edit this box. And that's the part that might not be obvious. So if we hit edit on here, 
and we rotate this knob again, we can see that there's a second option, Safety McCready Offset. And Safety McCready Offset works completely differently from Safety McCready. With, we'll go back to our Safety McCready here. An important thing when we take a look at the graph that we have drawn on the right hand side is that the Safety McCready is going to give you the height to which you're going to climb before heading home. Your regular McCready is going to give you the angle at which you fly home. So you should never have your safety McCready lower than your speed to fly McCready. So imagine you have your safety McCready set to three and it tells you to climb to this point here. And your regular McCready is set to five and you set off on a McCready five. You don't make it home. So you can, with this safety McCready, you can cause problems for yourself if you don't understand that the safety McCready must always be greater than your speed to fly McCready. Otherwise, you're going to land short or you're going to stop low and take a weak thermal to get back up to height to get home. So that's a really important consideration. So to help solve that problem, the safety McCready, instead of using that, we can switch to safety McCready offset. And what it does is it now adds to your current speed to fly a fixed McCready offset for your glide home. So again, we can draw another graph of altitude versus distance with our terrain and our arrival point. And we're going to set our safety McCready offset here. We're going to set that down. So I'm going to set that down to two knots. And so what that's going to do is it's now going to tell me to climb to a height that's equivalent to a McCready two knots higher than my current speed to fly McCready. So if I'm set to my McCready of three speed to fly, it's now going to require me to climb to a height of McCready three plus my safety offset of two, so up to a McCready of five. So we had our McCready three, we have our McCready five, and we get the same effect as we had for the top line here. It's going to require us to climb up to this McCready 5 point, but then we're going to set off for home at our McCready 3, and we're going to fly parallel to that McCready 3 line. If we do nothing other than fly at McCready 3, don't hit any sink, we're obviously going to end up high. And that's again where I said, it's worthwhile, and we're just going to make this blue line a lot thinner now. It's worthwhile as we're setting off and recognizing that we're high that we start to accelerate so that we can finish at an appropriate height in a shorter amount of time. So two functions that we have available, safety McCready and safety McCready offset. The safety McCready, one number, you set it to five, it's going to calculate your final glide always at five. Safety McCready offset, it's going to add to your current speed to fly McCready. So if you're at three and you have an offset of two, you're going to fly, you're going to climb to a height suggested by McCready five. So with this one, you can't get in the position that we had previously with this red line here, where you have your McCready your safety McCready set to a lower value than your actual speed to fly McCready because it's always going to for safety add. So probably safety McCready offset is a safer option for you to use. Hope you've learned something new about your LX flight computer today. Please visit me online at www.fox1corp.com and if you have any questions leave them in the comments section below. Thanks.